Hey North, this is Michelle. I and my husband, along with an amazing staff and incredible volunteers, have the privilege of pastoring your kids each week. I want to share with you today from the book of John, John chapter 16, verse 33, and it says this, it says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. That verse sits in a chapter where Jesus is telling his disciples that it's time for him to leave them and they're overcome with sadness and grief. They don't know what's coming next for them. Maybe you find yourself in a similar place during this season. I know that September tends to be a month that not when I was younger, I used to love and it was new beginnings and a new chapter and freshly sharpened pencil bouquets and new notebooks and all of those things that come with a new school year. As I got older and we faced some trials, they all seemed to pocket right in the month of September. So I almost dread September when it rolls around because we faced a miscarriage, we faced a major health crisis and a new baby in the middle of it. We sold the house and didn't have the next step to go. My mom was in a car accident, was life lighted out. My sister had open heart surgery one year. This year we happened to be doing COVID for the school year to start our school year off. There is trouble, but I'm thankful for the promise that Jesus said that he has overcome the world. I was reminded recently of a, with a conversation that I had with Mark, and I was struggling with some grace issues in my life, like I wasn't good enough, or I didn't feel like I was checking off the boxes enough, I wasn't able to control all of the pieces enough. And I was reminded of the verse that is a common verse, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And it says this, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your paths. So often I find myself having a hard time trusting God with all the pieces. And really, He's capable of all of the pieces of my life. And He's promised that no matter what, He'll be with me. I don't know what the future holds, and I didn't know then, through all of these things that we faced in a September, what that meant. But I did know this, that even in all of that, that God promised that He would be with me, that we could take heart because He had overcome the world. Maybe today you need to remember to put your trust and your faith back in the arms and the hands of the one who's bigger than us, who's bigger than all of the things, and trust him.